Divine True Spirit Discussions Discussions with people who have lived on earth and who have now passed into the spirit world. Jesus and Mary talk to Anthony, spirit earthbound, who leads a group of spirits who abuse and exploit people on earth. The session was recorded on the 23rd of December 2015 in Wilkesdale, Queensland, Australia. Welcome again. I'm here this time with Mary and uh, Mary is probably going to try to do some channeling. There's a there's a quite a, a group of quite angry spirits who want to talk about my teachings about reincarnation or uh, you'd say my teachings that there is no reincarnation and uh, we want to talk to those particular spirits but um, because they're quite angry we're not sure how the conversation will go. So we'll see how it goes and Mary's just going to take a bit of time and uh, before we get started. If you want to give us some background, darling, that's fine. Oh, yeah. So just that um, this group is just very angry and abusive, it feels like. So I'm, it's, it's hard for me to want to give them voice. Yeah. And it feels horrible, their feelings that they're projecting at both of us. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, and that's why I was resisting them in well, the we, we, first. If they if they get too abusive, we'll just yeah send them on their way. And also, they um, they are in control of a lot of people on Earth. Mm. That's already who evident. Who believe in reincarnation? Who believe in uh, reincarnation? Um, but as I've been sitting here tuning into them more. I'm not even sure if they weren't even somehow involved with the last group that we just spoke to. And Manipulating the last yes. group. Yes. Yeah, so. This is my concern. This is why I wanted to trace back the last group further. Yeah. Because I feel that there were spirits who actually knew reincarnation is not true, but are using those spirits to feed certain addictions of their own. Mm. Addictions of power and control of people over on Earth. Right. Because mm. I can't, I find it... Uh, mystifying as to why anyone would want to do that to other yeah. people. So, it's just power. It's yeah. all about power. Yeah. Right then, you idiot. Well, I'm not going to put up with abuse from you right from the beginning, so we might as well finish now. What gives you the right? No, I'm not talking to you. Sorry. You can go. You right. Yeah, I just find it horrible. They just got really horrible feelings. Hmm. Yeah, get used to. Why, why, why do you take it personally, darling? Like, you want to do the other group, that, the family group, or? <clears throat> what do you mean, why do I take it personally? <laughs> it is personal. No, but it's, you know, they're just in a power play and. And, you know, if all they're going to do is come and just call us names, then there's no point to even begin with them. Yeah, that's, that's it for me. they're really yelling at me that they want to tell you off, you know. And well, the, you know, I can feel them telling me off already. Yeah. And I don't really care. Yeah. If, you want, if they want to learn something or they want to stop doing what they're doing or they want to, you know, or they want to express what they're doing, even want to tell us what they're doing without getting abusive, then I'm happy to talk to them. But, but if they're just going to be abusive all the time, then like, why would we want to talk to them? It's no, That's no how purpose. I feel, yeah. No purpose okay. we're talking to them. Like I have compassion for them, but I don't want to talk to them if they're not going to. If they're not going to just even just have a degree of civility at least. And I'm going to do everything in my power to 
teach the truth about reincarnation, whether they like it or not. <laughs> the feeling that I get from them is that they just... I'm happy to have Rachel talk about them or whatever. So, but not not going to talk directly to them unless they are less abusive and, and are willing to be civil. And I'm not going to stop teaching the truth about reincarnation no matter what they ask me to do. So I don't see why whether, you know, just abusing me is no point. There's yeah, no point to it. The feelings that they have is that, you know, they're better than everyone on earth anyway. And these people on earth are just so leave themselves so open to this kind of manipulation. So I agree that people on earth do do that. I do agree with that. What's wrong? What's wrong with what they're doing? Is well, their feeling? Well, what they're doing is out of harmony with love from God's perspective, which is the reason why these particular spirits are, have have no joy in their life and spend all their time trying to have power over other people. So. But I do agree that many people on earth leave themselves totally wide open to the influence. And, and while that continues to happen, then it's highly unlikely that these spirits will probably stop what they're doing. The only way to confront a group of people who are doing what they're doing to meet certain addictions of their own is to stop meeting their addictions. And reincarnation teachings and the belief in reincarnation itself meets the addictions of many, many spirits. Addictions for power, addictions for control, addictions to believe things that are completely out of harmony with love. There's just like so many reasons why, you know, a person on earth needs to, you know, change when it comes to their their ideas and concepts of reincarnation because it's so damaging to spirit to the spirits and also damaging to the earth. Like, so I do agree though that the people leave on earth leave themselves wide open. I'll have another go, mm-hmm. but I. Uh, yep, but I'm not going to put up with any name calling or whatever else. You, we can discuss the facts of the matter and what you do to encourage them, people on Earth, that, to believe what they believe and why you do it. I'm happy to discuss all of those matters with you. Well, it's easy. I know it's easy. Yeah. yeah. Can you explain why? How you find it easy? Why, what? Why do you find it easy? Well, these people just leave themselves wide open. In what way do they do that? Well, they're needy and they're weak and they just, you know, they all you have to do is come along and give them a little buzz from just a bit of energy and they think that it's all what, a magical what kind experience. What energy are you giving them? Just stuff coming from us. We just come along and buzz them. Yeah. Do you know what kind of energy it is though? What colour is it? Can you tell me that? Grey, grey kind of colour. Yeah. Just kind of comes out of us. We just kind of focus on them and and they can, you know, then they just feel like, oh, something magical happened. And, and, you know, you just have to give them a few little hints sort of thing from us. Yeah. And they think, oh, uh, wow, I had this life and, oh, wow. And they just sit around and talk shit to each other for hours and hours and hours. But it's great for us. Why is it great for you? What, what, what do you achieve? Well, we just kind of hang out, get all this kind of good vibe off them while they're doing it. And good vibe and what, what, what does it feel like for you? It's kind of buzzy as well. It's sort of like a buzz feeling. It feels like, yeah, like, I don't know, we get, we're kind of in charge. So it feels good being in charge. Yeah, and it's easy (laughs) to get them to do stuff. You can just get them to do whatever you want. So what kind of things do you get them to do? (laughs) Sleep with each other. That's so easy. Yeah. And that's kind of, you know. So you like doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you get. What do you get out of that? You get stuff from that as well. Like sexual stuff? Yeah. 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 And why shouldn't we? It's so easy. Yeah. And also, you know, you just get a 
feel and you can get them to do anything, anything. Yes. I can get people to do anything. Right. I can get them to like literally jump off cliffs. I can get them to, you know, fight each other. I can get them to punch each other up. Yeah. I can get them to screw each other. I can get them to change their whole life. I can get them to leave their family. I can get them to spend all their money or I can get them to steal money from other people. I can do anything. Right. And that makes you feel like you have power. Like, well, makes you feel good knowing you have that power. Yeah. Yeah. It does. And this is why so is this people why like saying, you get up my goat because you're trying to carry on. You're trying to carry on like I'm the bad guy when these people want this stuff. These people think it's awesome when they do this stuff as well. All I've got to do is nudge them. They go and do it. What is the problem? They want to. I want them to. It yeah. happens. Yeah, no, I agree with what you're saying. Like, and no. this reincarnation thing yeah. is just... It's like one of the things that we can use. Yeah. It's one of the, like, there's certain people who get all mystical and crap about it. Yeah. And it's easy to just, like, get them to, to change their whole life just by giving them a few, like, memories, a few, like, impressions. Yeah. Maybe well, from my life, maybe from someone else's here's life. Yeah. Maybe you just, like, Make it up. press hard on them. Yeah. It's just, honestly, dude, it's so easy to mess with people and they get together they've got no clue mm -hmm. about what's going on no none and honestly even like even people who hang out with you sometimes it's so easy yeah no i know that too and this is why you i like i get really really angry mm -hmm. because you sit here you say all this stuff mm -hmm. And but why? what's the point? Why, what's the point of telling? These people want it. I want to do it. What's the point of telling them any different? It gives them a little jolly. I get a jolly out of it. What's the problem? Mm -hmm. Well. What is the problem? Well, there are a number of problems, but, but I don't know if you'll see them as problems. But <laughs> like, for no, example. No, well, you're right. I don't see any problem. The major problem I see today is that yeah. you are talking to people about how what I do is it's not. Wrong. Yeah. And that annoys you. Yeah, it does. Why does it annoy you when you know it's wrong? Well, I don't think it's wrong. You don't think it's wrong? No, because they want it. So it's why, like saying... So why hang around me then? Why, why not just hang around the people who you can influence more? Why hang around me? Well, because I feel like you're messing with my system. Messing with your life? Yeah. Right. How, how does it feel when someone's messing with your life? Yeah, well, I don't like it. So surely the people who you're doing it to wouldn't like it either if they knew. Yeah, well, I don't know. I reckon that they like it. You say that, but you haven't told them that that's what you're doing. Isn't that part of the power trip you're on? Like, part of the power of it is that you don't tell yeah, them. Yeah, well, they're it? idiots. They're idiots. No, you say that, but you don't you tell know, them. You know, they don't have a brain. They don't even, like, think about stuff. They're just led by this. Well, thing. can I class you back to when you were on Earth? How, how does it feel that most of your life was influenced the same way by similar people that what well, you Well, it sucks, and that's why I'm doing it while I can. Right. And when they come here, they can do it to someone else. Right. And you think that's great? That it just well, no, I think on it's on the way on. things work. But and you've got, to, you've got to suck it up. And but it doesn't have to work that way. You could do it. You could choose to change, or the people on Earth could choose to change, or both. And maybe there's a lot more happiness available doing other things that you don't even know about. Like you're just involving yourself doing a whole heap of things that you've discovered, but there's a whole heap of things you haven't discovered. That Man, it's so easy to discover this stuff here. I know it is. It's so well, easy it, to do stuff. Well, it's not only easy to discover it there. People on Earth do it all the time, so I don't see. You know, it is. Yeah, but most of them get help from people like me. Of course, I understand that. Yeah, I understand that. So basically you're saying that you, you like people who believe in reincarnation because it helps, because they open themselves up to your influence and you tell them a whole heap of crap about 
you know, your, their li supposed past lives and everything, and it makes them easily manipulated and able to be, do things. And It's like yeah. a game sometimes. Me and other people, we get together, we're like, okay, let's see what we can do today. Yeah. Let's get these people, see they're all gathered here at some, you know... Spiritual thing or whatever. Yeah, whatever drum-beating, <laughs> whistle-blowing thing, yeah, yeah. whatever it is that they're doing. Yeah. And we go... I'll, I'll mess with this one and you mess with that one and let's see if by the end of the day, like, for example, let's see if we can get them to sleep together yeah. or let's get them to see if they'll punch each other or let's get them... You, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And, I, yeah, I do get a kick out of it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like these people are suckers anyway, so why not? Yeah. And, but it doesn't feel good when I restrict your behaviour. Well, no, because... So surely it wouldn't feel good for those people getting their behaviour restricted? Well, I don't know. They seem to willingly do this stuff all the time. Mm. You know, it's like they want it. It's like they want it. I find it hard to feel sorry for them because it's like they want it. Yeah. And they love the buzz I give them. Yeah. And they think it's all magical, super wonderful. Yeah. Um, and it's as easy as anything. Yeah, and no, I agree with everything you're saying. Well, the thing is, though, yeah. how can you respect a person when they think you just give them a little bit of buzzy energy or whatever they want to call it? They call it something amazing. Yeah, they call it God or whatever. Chakra alignment or yeah. connecting to God or, or you know, like a, a past life experience or a, an experience of the Holy Spirit. Or, yeah. You know, they call it whatever they want. Yeah. And, you know... They're just so open to that. Yeah. And they think it's like the bee's knees. Yeah. Uh, and all, and so why do I feel like I'm doing something bad for them? They, they get to go home at the end of the day and think they're for, like more spiritual. Yeah. And so I think, well, okay, you think that and I had a bit of fun, so what's the mm -hmm. problem? Mm -hmm. The problem is that you haven't noticed, but, but your own ability to do it will degrade over time. If you keep doing what you're doing, your ability to do it will get to the point where you won't be able to do it at all because you will have lost the energy to do it. Well, I'll find something else to do then. No, you won't because you'll end up in a place that... In fact, I can show you where you'll end up if you want. Yeah, all right. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to ask a fellow, a friend of mine to come. You see him? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. What's his name? Oh. Joe? No, Jude. Jude. Jude, yep. Yeah. yeah. All right, what I'm going to ask Jude to do is take you to <sighs> the place where you're going to end up if you keep doing what you're doing. Man, that's a downer. So, no, this is where I start to get really annoyed with you again. Why is that? Well... Uh, I'm just telling you the truth of what's happening. That's all. It, <clears throat> you want to talk to the person that you just showed you? Can he even speak? He's just kind of mumbling and walking around in circles. Yeah, and it looks like he's totally nuts, doesn't it? Yeah. And like he's gone crazy. And he, and, he, and he can't do anything other than just walk around in circles mumbling to himself? No. Can you try to talk to him? Yeah, I did. Yeah, what did you say? Well, he just talked to the air. Yeah, he just like, ignored you, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's how you're going to end up. Well, so are you going to tell me some kind of spiritual bullshit as well? No, because I'm not going to tell you any spiritual Energy, crap. chakra, crap. No. Because I can tell you, I watch it. It's I crap. I know. I know. What you're saying is true. This is what I'm saying. I know that it's true. I know that what you're observing and honestly, is true. honestly, mate, you said, why am I around you? Yeah. Because there's suckers around you. There's a lot of suckers, yeah. They're easy to manipulate. Yeah, I agree. I'm not saying everyone. No. But there's Maybe a lot. you want to say who? I, I shop in circles like this. Yeah. I shop for these, like, 
spiritual woo-woo crap crowds yeah. because they are easy targets. I mean, you can do it in the pub as well. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But, but you can do it in a shopping a centre. You can do it in other places. But I'm telling you, because, like, people like your crowd are all like, ooh, wow, you know, the energy. When you say my crowd, they're not my crowd. Like, you know that I don't agree with what they do. So. Yeah, well, I can't do it to you, for example. No. Uh, and that's another reason why I'm kind of annoyed at you. Yeah. But, you know, I can do it with other people. Yeah, you can't get me to go and sleep with someone. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So you don't really have that much power. It's only power that people have given you. Yeah, and this is why... When you try to make me feel guilty about it, I think, well, no. Well, I know well, there's people who I can't do it to. I know there's people who are like, who aren't into that kind of, I don't know, magical thing. But <laughs> yeah. you, that's, you know what I mean? Like yeah. they, they want some kind of magic thing yeah. and I kind of give them a magic thing and then they're kind of putty in my hands. Yeah. Um, and I know... I know the people I can do it to and I know the people I can't. How do you know? What's the signs of the people you do it to and the people you can't? Well, you can just tell. You can just sort of feel it. What do you feel you from kind of, I kind of don't even have to <coughs> think about it. I just go to the... I go... I know I can scan a whole room and know which ones I can do it to. Yeah. And it's like... It's like it kind of feels like there's this big hole. Yeah. And I know... Big hole in them. Yeah, yeah. I can just like... It's like a button I can push. You can just put a bit of stuff into that hole. Yes. Buzz it, like I yeah. call it, you know. And it's it's a slightly different sometimes in different people. Yeah. But, so, you know... So sometimes it's Some of these people do this body work stuff. Yeah. And, man, that's a field day for me. Yeah. I can just like buzz all over people's spots. Yeah. And most people on earth are completely unaware. Well, they are, mm. but they love it. So what are you going to do? I can't, I can't even feel, this is why I get angry with you, mm -hmm. because I can't even feel like, mate, if there's a sucker, he's asking for it. Right. But so like, what, what is wrong with what I'm doing? Well, what's wrong is that in the end you're going to end up with like, like the guy. Yeah, well, now I feel great because you told me that and you showed yeah. me that, dude. And yeah. I, you know, of course that's a downer for me. Yeah, but that's where you're headed. Yeah, and it, I'm, I'm annoyed at you now because, like, what do you want me to do? I'm only trying to tell you the truth. It was going to happen whether I told you or not. If you keep doing what you're doing... It was going to happen anyway. Like how that guy is that that Jude just took you to, that yeah. guy. Yeah. You know, he's he looks like he's lost his mind, right? Yeah. Right. And and he doesn't seem to be able to help, hurt anybody now. Like he's he's just walking around in circles. No, like man, I feel sorry for him really. Yeah. Yeah. He like. What I'm saying to you is that whether I told you it was going to happen like that or not. It was going. You're going to do it if you if you keep doing what you're doing. That's where you'll end up, whether I told you or not. So, I'm only telling you because I care about where you end up. That's all. Yeah, but you got to admit it's a bit of a downer, and I well, can't. I think it's a deserved, why do I have to like what I'm seeing? Yeah, but it's deserved because you harm other people's lives. So in the end, it makes sense that in the end you end up with your own life being harmed, doesn't it? In the end, isn't it what you finish well, deserve really? I, I just getting back to it. I don't know. I don't see how I'm harming people's life. Really. No, but 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 obviously you must be. You know that you know that people break up. People break up their marriages. People yeah. people sleep with each other. They go and jump off the cliffs, like you said. They die even. So in some ways, you're a murderer, an adulterer, and a and you're encouraging people to do all of these things. Oh and, no, like what? I mean it with a you know. I, it's not literal suicide I'm getting people to do. Where's the no. fun in that? Yeah, why, why is there no fun in that? Well, because then you can't get more stuff from it. Exactly. I understand where you're coming from. But but people's lives do get damaged quite severely, don't they? Like the people who steal for you finish up oftentimes getting caught and going to jail. Yeah. You yeah. know, the people who, who sleep with their people other than their partners and they often have break up marriages and the kids are, you know, affected by it and everything. And so you can't say that you're not causing damage. 
like the reality is you're causing some damage. And what I'm saying is because you're causing that damage, you are going to end up in the place where this guy is and walking around mumbling to yourself, having lost your mind. Yeah, but what else am I going to do? Well, you could, you could choose a completely different path if you wanted to. You know, there's plenty of paths available to you in the spirit world where that you could choose that it have a much happier end. If you look at Jude, he looks pretty happy dude, right? Yeah. Right. Can he, he'll show you where he lives. Yeah, see, I don't like seeing shit like that. Sorry? I don't like seeing stuff like that. What is that? Pretty nice place. Yeah, but it's like, it's cruel. It's Why cruel it? showing me stuff like that. No, I'm telling you that it's possible for you to be there. Well, I don't believe you. I know you don't believe me, but if, if you did, you, you'd be better off. I mean, what do you want me to do, like, hope for shit like that? You want me to hope that one day no, I'm going to no. get to somewhere like that? No, I want And you. then, like, do you know how that makes me feel? Not good. Well, I don't want you to do anything. It's up to you what you do. You've got a choice in front of you. You, you could choose the road that Jude took and end up in the place that he's at, or you can choose the road that the other dude took and end up lost your mind running around in circles. That's your choice. Yeah, it's well, both choices m make me upset. Why? Why does the good choice make you upset? Because I can't do it, mate. Yeah, you can. Well, what have I got to do? Let, let me show you where Jude came from when he, when he was doing what you were doing. Stuff annoys me. Great, so he was a lot like me. He's the exact same as you. So if he can do it, you can do it. So I don't, like, I, I'm, what I'm saying is that it's possible for you to change if you want to change. If you don't change, you'll end up in the other place, in the other, like the other dude ended up. Look, I know, I had, I know what it's like to have all your hope taken away from you. I agree. I know what it's like to have other people kick the shit out of <coughs> you for years on end. Which is one of the reasons why you do what you do now. Yeah, sure, it is why I do what I do. Mm. And don't bloody ask me to have hope for something better because I did that when I was on Earth and it never bloody happened. Yeah. Well, it's hard on Earth to have hope because there is a lot of very negative things that happen on Earth. But, but the reality is you don't have to be on Earth now. And also the fact that Jude has done it is an indication that it's possible and if you just followed his advice, it's highly likely that you'd end up in the same location he's in. So, uh, like, I don't... Does, it, does Jude sort of look like the type of guy who's going to, like, tell you a whole heap of crap? He might tell you a no. whole heap of things you don't know. He seems, he seems all right. He seems, he seems like an honest guy. Honest guy, yep. So what's the harm in actually finding out what he did to get there? See, I don't see. See, I'm showing you the harm of what you, is going to happen to you if you keep doing what you're doing. If you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to end up lost your mind, running around in circles, mumbling to yourself, just like the other dude. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Well, maybe the best thing I can do then is just leave you to make the decision. And when you're ready to make a decision about what you'd like to do, then we can talk further. But like i don't want to force you to do anything i'm just telling you there's a there's a possible outcome that's really good and there's a possible outcome that's really bad and at the moment the road you're on is leading you to the possible outcome that's really bad and and you so say and you saying to me there's no harm in it and i'm saying well no there is some harm in it firstly you're leading yourself to that place you're actually harming yourself like that's where you're going to end up there is harm in it and not only that, there's harm in terms of what it does to other people. Other people's lives are completely changed by what you're doing. You, you influence people to sleep together, you break up marriages, you break up friends, you, 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 there's violence, you know, where people harm each other. The kind of things that happen to your life, in fact, are happening, you're doing to other people. And, and you didn't feel very happy about what happened in your life on Earth when you were here. No, but I was probably a sucker too, wasn't I? You were, but at the end of the day, if you learn to do something different, then you don't have to be anymore. To me, you're still a sucker. You're just involved in the same cycle. You've just become a perpetrator of what was perpetrated against you. And the per people who perpetrated those things against you, 
can can Jude take you to the people who perpetrated the same things that you've perpetrated to others? Take you to them now and see what they can do? Yeah, well, at least that gives me a bit of, at least, yeah, at least there's some justice in that. Yes, but... but justice that I never saw. Well, that's the thing is that the world you're living in now is a just world, but it also means that if you continue doing what you're doing, you'll end up with the same justice. And that's what I'm saying to you, is that if you keep, like, my concern for you is I don't want to see you, like in a hundred years' time, I don't want to see you in the place, you know, where you've lost your, your marbles. So what have I got to do? Well, uh, talk to talk to this guy. Jude knows best what you're got, going to have to do because he's okay. done it. So he, yeah. he knows best. And, and you know, all I can really do is introduce yeah. you and say, look, he knows the best. He's, he was in your position. I know what you need to do, but Jude, Jude will be able to help you more individually than I can. Does that make sense? Yeah. And he's yeah. available to you all the time, whereas I'm, as you know, I'm not. So, yeah. but, but, uh, but what I'm suggesting to you, and, and also to your mates, you know, yeah. what I'm suggesting to all of you guys is, you know, it would be sad for you to end up in exactly the same place that the people who did those things to you ended up. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. that, that's sad. It would be better if you, if you took another course of action which ends up in a different result. But what I feel is also important in, in this conversation is that it's great that you've come and said what you do because most people on earth don't believe that happens right most people on earth think they can get away with all this stuff they think they can get buzzed here and buzzed there and believe in magical things all the time and, and there's no harm to it that's what they think mm. when when you know you know it, it, a lot of what happens in their life is harmed because of their belief systems as well so i think it's very important as well that the people who are listening to this conversation go, okay, what part am I playing in allowing spirits to do this to me? You know, and I, and I know you don't believe in reincarnation, but I also know that no. you know that, that the people who do are very easily able to be manipulated. Yeah, so, Honest, along with it's the, a walk in the park. Yeah, yeah, I know that you know that, but at the end of the day, what I'm saying is the things you don't know is if you keep doing what you're doing, you'll end up where, you know, having lost your marbles, you end up going bonkers. Yeah. And, and that's not no, and a great you, outcome. You know, yeah, I'm... And if you look at the people who have did it to you, uh, where they are, yeah, that's not too good, huh? Do you mm. want to describe what that's like? Oh, it's, it's awful. It's like it's like they're in chains and they're just in agony and yeah. And so it's just like they're being struggling. tortured, isn't it? That's yeah, what it feel, it feels struggling like. to get free and yeah, they're just writhing in pain. And, yeah, and well, you know, I know it's not very nice, but kind of a lot of bad stuff happened to me yeah. when I was on Earth, and it kind of and you can see makes me feel a bit like there's justice in it. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, you know, the truth is I don't really want to hurt people. No. It's just that I don't know how else you get to, you know. Feel I know good don't, about yourself. Yeah, feel yeah. anything, yeah. feel anything that's, you know. I understand. And, and I feel like, well, they want it as well. So, you know, I don't feel like as bad as these bastards that did this stuff to me. Yeah. But, but in the end, that's where it's going to end up. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And, I, and I, yeah, no, look, this... Jude seems like a stand-up guy. And, yeah. And, I, yeah, I'll, I'll listen to him. Yeah. And, you know, what you're saying, uh, like I acknowledge that what you're saying is very true. There's large numbers of people like you in the spirit world, as you know, who just go around influencing all these different people at different places because they can. And, and there is a responsibility of the people on Earth to stop that from happening. But the people on Earth don't want to stop it from happening because they get their little buzz, which is their addiction getting met actually, and they get their little buzz and so they don't want to stop it from happening and that's a big problem. And, and this is where people on earth believe that having their addictions is innocent 
But in reality, having their addiction is actually causing them a lot of trouble. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think it's important that they understand that. And, and that's one of the things we're trying to help people on earth understand too. Does that make sense? So we're not just criticizing the spirits that are involved in the process of harming the people on earth. We're looking at people on earth as well and saying, look, you guys, you know, every time you engage in addiction, you're really feeding this, you're really giving something to a whole group of people around you, spirits that you can't see. And, and you're in codependent addiction with those particular people. And you're going and doing all these very bad and negative things and all these things that are out of harmony with love. And the end of it all is where this dude ended up, you know, where, where the dudes that harm you ended up. That's the end of it all. And you don't have to do it. You could stop it. Right? Yeah. Look, I, yeah. And that, and so I think it's very good that you, that you, you know, have acknowledged the, the, the feelings that you had when you're on earth about getting harmed, because that's a part of what Jude will talk to you about. He'll talk to you about your feelings and, and you know, why you're, do, you're doing what you're doing. And that's what he had to work his way through, right? He had to work his way through the feeling of the, of the injustice of his life, really. But, but if, if you can see straight away that from God's perspective or from whoever has constructed this universe you're now in's perspective, the people who did the harmful things to you are now in chains, in torture, dealing with the consequences of what they did. So, so you can see at least that there is some justice in that process. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, yeah. Cheers. Yeah. And I feel a bit bad about putting stuff on you. Yeah, no, a lot of you, you know, a lot of people are putting stuff on me. It's not just you. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of women and men around me putting stuff on me all the time. But, yeah. but the sad thing I find in all of that is that it's just self destructive, you know, in the end. You end up. You end up in the places where you where you can't even do it anymore, and you and you've gone nuts, you know, if you keep doing it that way, and and I, so I find it sad in some ways because I'm trying to help people who who are doing things that are harmful, but but the things that are harmful they're not seeing as harmful to themselves as well. You see? Yeah, and I yeah yeah you're all right you're yeah. all right you're all right, and I just it's just it's just tough like. When bad shit happens to you and you just, tough. you don't know how to survive. And then, Ooh. and I just never really felt about it yeah. properly. Like I, I just understand. try to ignore it and try to get my buzz, you know, yeah, and yeah, yeah. seeing those people there who did the bad stuff to me, yeah. my uncles and stuff. No, yeah. it's, I, it's, it does see. give me some kind of faith that there might be, some kind of justice yeah. in this existence. And yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I feel that's very important to understand there is some justice in the system and, and that people who do bad things, you know, damaging things, in the end don't get away with what they do. You know, they might get away with it on earth, but they don't get away with it after they've passed. Does that make sense? And yeah. the reason why is because God's laws are like the, there's laws of the universe that are fixed. It's like the laws of you know, humankind on earth. They're all variable, you know. You can get away with this and you can get away with that if you know how to do it. But with, with God, you can't, with, with the laws of the universe, you can't get away with it. And, and it's important that you understand that for your own sake, but also to see that even the people who did things to you, they can't, they're not going to get away with it, right? They're going to have to pay the penalty of doing it, of what they did at some point. And you can see the penalty is pretty rough. Yeah, I can see that now. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I don't, you know, I don't want to go into some kind of psycho situation. I just, anyway, I, I'm, I'm going to talk to this. Yeah. This talk to Jude. Jude, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> he, he cares about you. Like he has the same concern for you that I have, right? That you don't want to end up in this place is where the people who harmed you end up. And uh, yeah, so no, thanks, he, he mate. I'm it. gonna go. Yeah, no worries. Okay, yep.
Ja, du er jo vibe. <laughs> it wasn't. Once you calm down, once you drew a line with him, it was much easier. Mm. And now I just feel sad for him because I don't feel what happened in his life. Yeah. Really bad. Yeah. Do you want to explain a bit of what happened? <laughs> oh, just he just got abused as a kid physically. You know, he got beaten a lot, and yeah. and um, you know, and then he just was. <laughs> He grew up really poor and stuff, and and he just kind of got a lot of prejudice about from society yeah. about, and he was ostracised a lot in his schooling, and he, you know, he made bad choices, and then he was in trouble with the law, and just you know, he kept getting really hammered, hammered by everyone, and society generally, and, yeah. and his parents specifically. Yeah, mm. his uncle specifically, it seems like. Mm. Yeah, um, two men specifically, but it seemed like his mum and dad were really bad to him as well. Well, they left him, didn't they? I don't uh, even know if they were. Yeah, I don't know. It's like they were alcoholics or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. But these two men had such a strong influence on his life, and they used to literally beat him. Yeah. And yeah, when he was still quite little and stuff. Yeah. But I, yeah, it's just sad what people go through. Yeah. Yeah. And he just was detuning from it completely. Yeah. And when you took him to see the, the other people, you know, see how where they really were, it like opened him up to that, to the memories really of everything that happened. And, and the concept of justice, which he'd lost as well. Yeah, he yeah. felt like there was no justice. And in fact, even the police system wherever he lived yeah. just, was prejudice against him before he even did anything wrong and then he just did stuff wrong and yeah. and he felt like the world was against him pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty rough life. Mm. Passed prematurely. <sighs> yeah, sad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that... I feel it's important, though, what he said about how easy it is to control people, too. Yeah, well, do you th- if we just said he can do it real easy, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, you and I have commented a lot about how easily people, are, <laughs> even people who come along to our sessions yeah. regularly, are, it, it, they're so easy to manipulate by dark spirits, you know, getting them to sleep together and sleep with different people and rah, 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 and it's just, it just goes on and on and on. Yeah. Just a little bit of a little bit of a nudge here and a nudge there from the spirit and they're off 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 they go breaking another one of god's laws yeah they listen more to dark <coughs> spirits than they listen to anything we while, say <laughs> while at the same time they're convincing themselves that they are actually practicing god's truth or, yeah, or following it. misusing the principles and i suppose that's the feeling that he has isn't it that if yeah. you give people some kind of feeling if you manipulate their belief system and to get and to, I don't. I don't really I, yeah, as long like as to give them confirmation for something. They're an error-based thing. Yeah. But call as long it as a they get the thing. buzz, which is the yeah. addiction being yeah. met, yeah. then they're manipulatable. Yeah, you can do anything yeah. to them that you want from a spirit's perspective. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. That's really sad too. I find that really tragic. That. Yeah, but uh, but it is like he said. Uh, like you have to. Like my feelings are. I agree with him completely. Unless people on earth stop wanting to get the buzz Mm -hmm. and sacrifice ethics and morality and love just to get the buzz, at the end of the day, they're going to keep doing what they're doing. And this is how a lot of people are who listen to Divine Truth too. They just still want the buzz and still want the buzz, still want the buzz, but they don't want to process through anything emotionally. Yeah. And and they're so easily manipulated by dark spirits that spirits will manipulate them and do anything they want. And the spirits love love it because they get a buzz as well. Yeah. And obviously... you can see from this guy that he obviously had a powerless life and mm. and he was really addicted to the power of it. You know, that's the buzz he gets mm. in return, knowing that he can make a person do anything. Yeah. Including jump off a cliff if he wanted them to. Yeah. He, of course he didn't want them to because otherwise he can't manipulate him another time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I had the feeling he wanted to say, oh, no, it's a parachute. Like, I can just get him to do whatever I would like to He he has caused people to jump off cliffs. Really, yeah. But only in, like, after he's tired of 
you know. Oh, he can't get what he wants from Yeah, him. when he gets angry. Yeah, yeah, sad, isn't it? But the reality is, is that it's all power and stuff. But but I, I think what I want to focus on a little is this, is this and, and I think anyone listening to the channeling needs to have a look at how they, through their own addictions, are enabling mm. spirits and enabling, you know, they, through their own lack of desire for ethics and morality and lack of desire to love and lack of desire for truth and their own desire to imagine that things are happening that are not actually happening, that are not real, yeah. they are being manipulated by yeah. other people yeah. quite, quite significantly and as a result being harmed yeah. And when they pass, they'll find, um, you know, not a very good outcome yeah. for them in the long run. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it, how people latch on to certain things and actually darken their condition well, while telling of, themselves that well, they're brightening know, their that condition. A lot of people who have heard Divine Truth, since we've known them, have darkened their condition. Definitely. They've chosen immoral paths that they yeah. possibly wouldn't have chosen before. They've chosen... Because they use what we say as justification for immorality, yeah. which is in complete Nothing opposition be from the to truth. what we're saying. Yeah. But yeah. But in the search for their soulmate, for example, they go and have sex with all these mm. different people to find mm. their soulmate, you know, and all this yeah. kind of stuff. Or even in their quest for mediumship or yeah, healing or quest body for mediumship. work or they whatever. They have all this addiction with mediumship yeah. before you know they're off teaching a whole heap of falsehood, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, these they're yeah. so easily able to be manipulated because they don't have any ethics and they don't have any morality and they're unable to desire love and truth in their mm. lives. And and they also think that their addictions are innocent. Yeah. And no addiction is innocent. No. All, all addictions have severe consequences in the long run. Well, we were mm. just talking about this yesterday, weren't we, how we know people who feel that their addictions are an endearing part of their personality. So why yeah. would they give them up exactly. and they feel proud of them? Yeah. You know, the way they interact with people and the different power yeah. plays or things that they have. And we have people who have heard us for five or six years emailing us with that kind of comment. Yeah. Where, they, where they're proud of their own addictions and they think they're innocent and they think mm -hmm. they're playful and they think they're quite yeah. nice, you know, yeah, yeah. when the reality is it's quite, it's hugely destructive. It is. And yeah. they have no concept of their sin. Yeah. And what I tried to do with this guy and the beauty of doing it in the spirit world is that he's now in the spirit world. You can take him to the people who yeah. are experiencing the cons consequences of the sin. Of what he's Whereas doing. most people on earth are completely blind to the consequences yeah. of their own sin. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I think it's some pretty good lessons in that very short mediumship, eh? Yes, very, very good. good lessons. So yeah. and so, you, what you're focusing people on listening is how they are engaged in codependent addiction with what what neediness they have within them for a metaphysical experience or for or just to feel just, nice about themselves or yeah. you know or to get some kind of addiction with some kind of substance or yeah. or to have or sexual sex their sex or, or sexual yeah. addictions met or yeah. to make them feel good you know like yeah. they're powerful or whatever. Yeah. And because that's opening them up to spirits yeah. like this who are willing to exploit that within them. Any addiction yeah. completely opens you up to, yeah. to any spirit who's willing to manipulate it. And there are like billions yeah. of them yeah. who are willing to manipulate yeah. it. And they've all learnt like he had. Mm -hmm. They've all learnt. We didn't learn his name, I don't think. Um, no. no. Oh, well, I don't know. Did he Do say it? ask him his name? Anthony. Anthony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Has Anthony had, you know, done these things, you know, manipulated people? Like in the end, it's like it's so easy, yeah, to yeah. to do it when the people on Earth want the feelings. Oh man, I just feel so much sadness. I don't know if it's his or mine. Just about what he's been through. Yeah. 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 And it's sad that the spirits, a lot of his life was actually influenced by spirits in the same way. In that they were exploiting his injuries or the people yeah. that abused him were um, No, the spirits, there were injuries. spirits around the people abusing him, yeah. exploiting him yeah. in the same way that he's ended up exploiting others. Yeah. Yeah. I, think it's, I think also that's the feeling of... Um, giving up hope he didn't want to see that there could be a better future mm. because it might trigger his grief about hopelessness yeah that's what i'm feeling now from yeah. him i think yeah yeah. Mm. yeah 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 but i feel the people on earth are very much like 
to blame for mm. because they want their addictive buzz. Yeah. And there's no such thing as an innocent addictive buzz. Yeah. There's no such thing as innocence in it. Yeah. And, and I think everyone, when we go through the stuff on facade and addiction, in the, I think it's our second group, isn't it? Um, the second assistance group. No, we, the, our third one is understanding sin, which will focus a lot on addictions. Our second one has got facade and, and um, hurt self. Hurt and, self, that's yeah. right, yeah. So when yeah. we go through... The, the second and third, really, assistance groups. The third one is not understanding sin. It's, oh, no, it's understanding God's so, laws. So it's the fourth one. The fourth one is about sin. Yeah. Which is about sin, yeah. Yeah. And people hopefully will start seeing the, the severe, the severity mm -hmm. of a sin of the sin involved in addiction. Yeah. Even yeah. when they think it's like innocent. Yes. Yeah. And and that was something the last assistance group we tried to take people through like the recognition of, of sin. sin. You're yeah. never going to give up addiction if you're not willing to recognize the sin. Yeah. And from my own experience, you know, recognizing the sin Often you think you recognise it and then you realise, no, wow, there's so much more sin involved in what I've been doing than I was first willing to see. Like mm. there's, a lot of, there's a lot of people affected every time we decide to sin. Yeah. And if we justify it, oh, my goodness, yeah, it's, even <laughs> it's, it's even worse. Yeah. 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 So hopefully those of, of you who are listening to that little bit of channelling have, uh, have enjoyed the reflections about, you know, what can happen if you continue to allow your addictions mm -hmm. to be fed from spirits in particular and what also happens to those spirits as well. So thanks, Mary, for channeling thank, that. Thank you. Thanks honey. for your time.